video segments and all kinds of writings. And for two solid years, that man at CBS has heard from me. And I've talked to the producers, and so I've gone on and I've contacted all kinds of other people, which I'm not going to go into, but in 2015, this all began. And I did something that's going to be really powerful, and I've been telling people I knew it was because Maladoma is a, um, a man that walks in two worlds, and when you do that, you can guide people along their way. But anyway, so I've done all that with the hope, the hope, that it's an anchor for my soul for something. And I didn't even know what at the time because I didn't, I didn't, I was in denial. So, something was reduced significantly, the jet stream. So something in my life also has been significantly reduced. Maybe it's my suffering. With the wind's extra push, several flights completed the trip in five hours and 20 minutes. So that's 40 minutes less. I don't know how that, you know, works out in t my time, but I would say I've worked for 50 years. <laughs> so hopefully I've done a reduction here in the last 10 and especially these last three since I did this thing. And chose to come back here against everybody's counsel. But it has really helped me in the end. And I am so glad I did it. So it says, this is the, you know, future now. I suspect you'll have comparable assistance in the course of your upcoming journeys and projects. You'll feel like the wind is at your back. So, yeah, of course, that has to go in the current events because that's this week and you know I'm in contact with people that were on a CBS segment with current events responding to their segment about people who were raised with childhood trauma with all the knowledge and wisdom that I've gained from everything that I've read and done because now I can talk to them at the same level about the things that they're trying to understand and help people with. And this is my deal. And in the end, I just want not just my own family to survive this, because it is my calling to do this and help other people navigate this maze of soggy, muddy, quicksand of relationships and holding together communities in the midst of um, life initiations of birth, death, marriage, divorce. These are the things Judith Herman talks about that affect the trauma victims so much because those were the things that affected their life when they were young that their parents didn't deal with appropriately. So I make these videos so I can send them to Dr. Phil and send them to Oprah and send them to Belinda because they want to talk to me and they want to know. And I want them to know. I need Dr. Phil's help. <laughs> Dr. Phil, I need your help. And I don't want to get on your stage and argue with this man about whether because he's angry and I know he's sad and remorseful and confused and it makes him frustrated and then he responds in anger. I don't want to deal with this by myself anymore. I need help so that he can understand and just let down the guard and let down the ego and just go, holy shit, I've been a blind man and now I'm struck by the light. I've been stupid. Because it's just ignorance. This is just ignorance is all this is. And I really don't believe that there are that many truly evil men like Ted Bundy in the world. I don't know about our president because I do believe he's the last Trump. And I do believe he has to have an evil heart in order to demonstrate what that looks like and how it affects everybody. So, Donald, God bless you for doing that for us. Just God bless you, Donald. I can't wait to give you a hug. You are the last Trump and you are fulfilling prophecy and you are showing people what having an evil heart does. Division, 
separation, anarchy, murder, mass murder, children mass murdering because they want us to see their suffering. So they're going to make other people suffer. Anyway, let's just all wake up. Why don't we? I have hope. I have hope. My life is just a small segment of the bigger movie. The quicker we all see where our lives are a small segment of the bigger movie, <clears throat> the quicker we can write the ending in a better way than it's ever been written in history before. That's my goal. The worst thing we can fear is that we forget the past repeat it again because this time the button's going to be pushed I promise <laughs>